everyone and welcome back to zoo crafting ah oh, we are here in sunflowers perch today getting ready for a very special mission if you guys recall last week calf luba and i discovered a mysterious lost world that was hiding under calf and Lubot's jurassic park dinosaur park which is kind of absolutely amazing if you recall, Kath and I went on a journey and discovered that dinosaur park quite a while ago. It was a big surprise! And there were a lot of spooky warnings that had to do with the rumors of, or with the history of what happened in that place. So in fact, I think I still have the old book. One second, Sunflower. I'm pretty sure I still have that old journal. I know! Did we? Oh, she's such a precious sweetheart. The old journal from uh, a chest that we found outside of the dinosaur laboratory. So let me see if I've still got that thing hiding somewhere. Do do do. I'm pretty sure. I love that we're working on getting a proper library too. That is just so much fun. Hello everybody. Hello, hello our 300 kitten. Let's see. Was it in this one? This one? Was it? It was like in a written book. I'm pretty darn sure. Is it this one? Oh, here we go. This is it continues told him never should have shoulder have <laughs> everyone has to leave so much behind all our work and research ruined never return who will carry on the research we devoted our lives to here never too dangerous but now we know now we do but this work so important could change everything hate to leave it staying means so many have already Dun dun dun. So we never did find out what this note was about or who wrote it, but we did find it at the Dinosaur Research Laboratory. And after finding the Lost World under the Dinosaur Research Laboratory, that tells me that there definitely was something big going on there. And it's very cool. We don't want to we don't want to see that research lost. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to be trying to figure out what happened. What happened down there in the Lost World? What happened that made them have to abandon that experiment? And are there other experiments like that lurking around the world, just hiding and waiting to be rediscovered? So we have this amazing volcanic rock that is actually gathered from the meteor that Kaf found down inside of the Lost World. We think that meteor is what's been keeping the world warm and alive. But we've got to figure out what the heck to do about this. And so it occurred to me, guys, I know how to solve this. We need to get that Dinosaur Academy rebuilt and put up. Uh, that one that we found next to Calf's house. So we're going to go get Sunflower, actually. And we are going to go to that abandoned Dinosaur Academy that I've been talking about building back up again. And we are going to refurbish it. We're going to get it ready. And we are going to invite some of the villagers from the Archaeology Village, who we think may be some of the descendants. There we go. Good job, Sunflower. I'm so proud of you. You're such a good girl. But we think that they may be some of the descendants of the people who used to work and live at that dinosaur visitor center laboratory area. Sunflower, not the fastest today, are we? This happens sometimes. This happens sometimes. But yes, yeah, so that's our goal today. And we're also going to have to refine uh, the... <laughs> We're also going to have to refind where that Dinosaur Academy is since we lost all of our waypoints. But I'm pretty excited. What I plan on doing is we're going to go to the Archaeology Village and I'm going to talk with the villagers there and see if we have any volunteers to go to the Dinosaur Research Laboratory with us. But it looks like this is going to take a second because Sunflower is not going her fastest today. So I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to get us to the Dinosaur Academy, and we're going to see what kind of work is going to be need or need to be done over there. So one second. There we go. All right, so we are back at the, the Paleontology Village, which um, I dare say that they could probably use some help. And I love how they locked in. I'm pretty sure they locked in this poor librarian because he holds the remaining knowledge. He knows a little bit about the lore and the history of their village. So we'll set that librarian free in just a little bit. But first we need to find the Dinosaur Research Laboratory, or the, the Dinosaur Academy. So let's see if we can locate where the heck that went. Pretty sure if we hug this redwood forest. And you're going much faster now, Sunflower. Good job, my darling. Good job. All right, here's Calf and Lubot's place. And I'm pretty sure... The Academy. Ooh, look at this. They are getting ready for some expanding. Holy moly. I really need to rescue the rainforest plants before it's too late. But yeah, I'm pretty sure right over this this spot right here. A jump hip and a skip. Yep, yep, there's the first of the cherry blossom trees. So I'm pretty sure... Are we on top of it, Sunflower? Are we almost there? 
There it is. There it is. I see it. It's the Research Academy. Oh, here we go. That wasn't as hard as I was worried. Oh my gosh, but it's a lot more beat up than I remember. All right, Sunflower, not down the... Oh, ow. Sunflower, <laughs> you threw me down a hole. <laughs> oh, well, at least I'm inside now. Darling, there's bears here. There are bears here. Can you get back in the... Thank you. Get back in here. Come on, darling. You need to get back in the safari net because... There we go. Thank you. I don't want her to get hurt while we're exploring around here. But so this is the Dino Academy where we are going to rebuild it. Wow. Looking at it with all the holes in the walls. Uh, actually, that's going to be a bit of a tall order. But I'm going to rebuild it, patch it up with some of the wood and stuff like that. There's there's a bit hiding in the chest here and there. Oh yeah, I forgot I dumped all that stuff in there last time we visited. So we need to patch up the Dinosaur Academy and make it available. Oh, ow. There we go again. And make it so that we can bring some of our villagers over here. And they can do some research on the history of their people. And on the the history of what was going on in that dinosaur research park. And we also have a panda stuck down here. So we'll have to get the panda out. I remember we had some zombies popping out of the walls uh, last time. Yep, yep. So there's definitely a lot of patching up I'm going to have to do here. Hmm. Some random clay. Shouldn't take too long though. Just a few basics here and there. Calf raided this place for the cultivators a little while ago. So I wonder if they're going to need those cultivators again. I think they more need display cases so that we can put the volcanic rock in the display case and figure out where it came from and what we're going to do with it. So let's come up here. I'm going to take a quick snooze. Oh my goodness, there are so many holes in these walls. So many holes in the floor. <sighs> but all right, guys, I'm going to nap. And then in the morning, which is now, I'm going to work on patching up these walls. And I will be right back with you guys after we just get some of the basics of of this place kind of patched together. Hmm. Let's see, a little glowstone. Oh, walked right into a tree. So here's a lovely little tree here. There's the ancient ruins of the garden. Mm-hmm. So we can see where the, the villagers would have had their own little back garden. I imagine walking in the garden is a good thing for the academy researchers to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, good. 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 All right, well, I'm going to get the panda out and patch up the walls. And then we need to go visit the Paleontology Village and see if we have any volunteers to come and work in the refurbished Dino Academy so that we can analyze all of the interesting artifacts that we find related to these mysteries. Oh my goodness. So, yep, lots and lots of... In fact, do I have an... Uh, let me grab my still shears. At the very least, we can start by getting rid of these cobwebs. My goodness. Ooh! Ooh! Actually, bat pick! Come here, bat pick! We can get the cobwebs with the bat pick because cobwebs are something. Oh my gosh, this would take forever. <laughs> cobwebs are something we can sell to Tide or just use as decorative pieces. It'll be really fun actually once we get like a spider sort of sort of area going. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is gonna take me a little while. Oh my gosh, that took forever. And it didn't even what? What? Aw, bat pick! You let me down! I guess we can't do it with bat pick's silky touch, so drop bucket. Well, I'm gonna get this place cleaned up and I'll see you guys in just a minute. Oh my gosh, you guys! This place! This place cleans up absolutely amazing! Oh my goodness! I knew that it was a really cool building, an amazing structure, a historic location where previous generations of dinosaur researchers have come and worked in before, but my goodness, I had no idea that once you actually get it repaired and put up like all the blocks back in the walls where they belong, this actually makes a really, really cool building. This is going to be so amazing to be able to bring a whole bunch of the villagers from the different villages in here. We're like, we're going to be doing our wonderful, absolutely awesome harvest festival over in the Village of Light soon. And if we have any new villagers born in that harvest festival, there's a very good chance that they could be baby paleontologists, which is very exciting. So if we get any new baby paleontologists, they're going to come and work here and we're going to go get the librarian from the the village of archaeologist and bring him here also i decided to leave the panda in because you know the panda it's like a, a a mascot a mascot for this research center 
This is actually where the doors are supposed to be, but since it leads into a giant scary cave, I blocked it off instead <laughs> so that none of the villagers will wander down in there. But we might make it kind of a cave entrance system in the future so that we can go down and dig up some awesome fossils to share with our amazing researchers. That's right, Panda. Share with our amazing researchers here. And I really like how it turned out. We left this little pedestal area where it is. I might change this cobblestone out with a different awesome little like display block. One of those, ooh, like the chiseled blocks because we have so many, let's see, at chisel. See, we've got so many different blocks we could do, like this nice light creeper marble. That looks like a cool thing that you could put like a little display on. Ooh, or these ornate panel limestones. Nice. Or even this marble panel. So we'll probably swap these guys out in the future. This today really was just about cleaning up the whole place, and I missed a spot. Dang it. We did swap out the chandelier so that it now has a different kind of glowstone uh, as its chandelier. And we swapped out the other glowstone lanterns so that they kind of had more of a, a science-y look to them. And we cleaned up the whole place. Like, there's no more cobwebs if I didn't miss anything. I don't think I missed any cobwebs. We put an, uh, oops, I missed this spot too. I'll have to clean that up later too. We cleaned up the window panes, got all the windows put in so that our lovely villagers that we add in here won't get eaten by zombies like breaking into the place. I hear a hungry bird, gotta swap that glowstone out. It's just chiseling the glowstone to change it so it looks like this. We made sure that the, uh, the books up here are all where they belong and everything's nice and tidy. The windows are fixed. Eventually, we are going to work in that back garden to make a nice garden for our awesome little guys to come out, the little villagers, to get their food from. For now, we're going to have to just supply them with some basics. I don't think there's anything. There's just paper and some basic things, some basic supplies for them to get started with up here. We swapped out the block that was here for uh, a fencing, a carpenter's fence, so that the villagers don't just wander to their death down there, because they'll climb on top of one block and jump right off. Let's see, we've got the stairs fixed, got the windows repaired, got the walls repaired. I mean, it's really a solid, beautiful structure. Once you, you get like everything where it belongs, it's pretty awesome. The bedroom no longer has a bazillion holes in it and that makes it look like twice as big as it was, which is so cool. We've got the lanterns up here. We got a double chest here now for all of your random miscellaneous items. Here, I'm gonna leave the villagers some bread and apples to eat till we can bring them a proper garden. And we've got some carpenter's doors here so they won't wander out and get eaten by anything that may be out here. This is kind of like the landing pad where Kath and I uh, tend to land our, our flying creatures when we're flying out this way. Got to fill that in too. As you can tell, it's pretty plain. So if you guys have ideas for how we could decorate this place, maybe with some ornate gems and things like that, like Chisel has a lot of really beautiful blocks that we could use. Uh, oh my gosh, what is that? <gasps> wow, look at what you can do with blocks of diamond. Holy moly days. We're going to have to have some fun with that one day. Wow, that looks cool. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. But yes, there's a lot we could do, like emeralds. We could do lapis lazuli blocks. Um, just kind of play around with the various things. Look at that. Blue nether rack. Oh, that just sounds amazing. So there's a lot of different bits and pieces that we could use uh, from the chisel mod. Ooh, look at that fancy holy stone. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I know I've seen most of these, but some of these, what is this? Future purplistic armor plating block. Oh, that looks so cool. So cool. Look at all this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a lot of really awesome decorative blocks that we could use to kind of just decorate decorate this place and make it the academy the research academy that it could be so i'm pretty excited this is going to be really interesting a great place to launch some of our studies into the mythology and the legends and the history of this world the attic has an awesome little skylight sky roof in it i think i might uh, put more glass down along here so you can actually see out instead of having to jump but it's a nice little place just to come and relax if you want to just come and chill out up here the villagers aren't going to get up there either, so it's kind of private for anyone who wants to stop by. And then downstairs is where we're going to have the main bulk and body of the research go on. So let's pop down there. 
do 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 it's so cool and we also got rid of quite a few of the windows we might get rid of these ones too that just look out into a cave because that's kind of that's kind of depressing and if any zombies show up that could be very alarming for our villagers so we will look into that but down here at these item displays this is where we're going to put our items that the villagers are going to research and study for us so inside of here we're going to put the volcanic rock so that it can be researched i mean look at it look at it it's so interesting so interesting there's so many mysteries and things that the villagers could really get into understanding for us and then over here we're going to put the book that has the the mysterious journal entry hmm of the evacuation notice for when they had to flee from there so these will be the spots where our little villagers will be able to come in and kind of do some some research to understand what went on in the past but speaking of those little villagers, let me toss my armor on real fast and whip out my safari nets if I can find them. Ah, there we go. Let us go see if there's any villager volunteers over at the paleontologist village. Oops, let's take a quick snooze and then we'll do that. Who would be willing to come and start researching their history. It's kind of fun because we are going to be helping the villagers dive into their history of what happened in this world to their ancestors. So I'm really looking forward to this. This should be quite, quite fascinating. All right, let's pop out here. Sunflower, my dear, I am in need of your services. Thank you very much, darling. And whoops, fly between those trees. Man, you're fast today, darling. Now she's perked up. I guess she just had to warm her flight feathers up a little bit. And if I remember correctly, yep, here's their, holy moly, these men. Look at these guys go. They don't waste any time, and they're making their exhibits gigantic. Absolutely gigantic. Did we do indeed, Sunflower? Did we do indeed? All right, let's ignore the werewolves on the ground. Our poor Quagga couldn't. That was so sad. And there we go. All right, so let's see if we can find any librarians or other researchy villagers. I see a few. All right, Sunflower, you hang out here at the teleportation stone. Whew! A little bit of a hiccup. And then I am going to speak, ooh, let's see, copper, with the various villagers, including this, this librarian who's trapped. Ooh, aluminum. And see what's going on here. Ooh, wool, so he's a shepherd. Anybody in here? Oh, hello, sir. You sell cooked pork chops. There's another, there's a lot of tinkers here. Very interesting. Iron Oreberry, and apparently they recently had some zombies nearby. Hmm. That's a little concerning. Let's see. Nobody in here. There might be some patterns we could we could filch, though. Just let me peek in here. Why, hello, hello. Ooh. Hmm. Bronze knife, flint, slime chisel head, paper sign, flint pan. Oh, well. Hmm. Hmm. I might borrow some of these in the future. I think we're okay for now. All right, let's see. What's over here? Nope, nothing there. Wait, hello, sir. Don't worry, I didn't take any of your stuff. Copper. All right, I think there's only one library here. There's a priest. Ooh, with glowstone. I think that you could probably come with us. So give me a second. I'm going to... Oh, here's another librarian. Good. Good. We've got some good volunteers then. Yeah, I think we'll take the glowstone priest because that's always useful. Not very much glowstone, but you never know what else you might start selling. All right, and let's come over here. How are you doing, sir? Bread, that's a baker. Don't worry, villagers. These are just brave members of your of your family who are willing to come with us. Oh, where'd he go? I swear there was a villager right here just a second ago. Who are willing to come with us to help research the history of your land. All right, that's a flint. Let's see, come down here. Oh my goodness, you guys. All right, there's a library right here. Or I guess a little tavern? Nobody in here. Oh, here's the church. I love that glacier in the distance. Oh, the church has a bear. That's not concerning at all. Run for it. Ugh, ugh, come on, run. That's better. All right, what's going on here? Oh, another pine pattern village. Ooh, ooh, look at all these. Ooh, there's a pickaxe pattern head here, too. Hmm, I'll have to pick those up later. We can always come back. I always, I'll, I'll fix the villagers' roads in exchange for stealing their patterns from them. All right. And I think the last volunteer would most likely be this librarian who is trapped down here. Is there even a door? Is there even supposed to be a spot for a door here? Hello, sir. 
You appear to be trapped. Yes. Yes, I just have a good feeling about this guy. I feel like he has been sequestered away to hold the secrets of his people. Hello, sir. How are you? Interesting. Come with me, my good friend. There we go. And now we have the villagers who are going to start the research. Let's see. Let's go get that door. That random door over by the teleportation stone. Pardon me, guys. Sorry, I don't mean to alarm you all running around with an axe. Let's grab this door. And we'll put this door down, down here. There you go, guys. Um, hang on a second. I'm sure I could make this a little bit better for you. Uh. Hmm. I don't think anything can get in there. I think you're okay, guys. All right. There we go. Who knows if they can get out? We'll check on them in a little bit. Oh, and I'm hungry. All right, let me eat some quick bread. Oh, sunflower, we really need to spend a little bit of time just cooking inside of our kitchen because holy moly, I'm hungry. There we go. All right, darling. Now let's take these villagers back to the dinosaur research facility, the academy. And then we also need to, thank you for the feather, by the way, dear. We also need to mark that academy on our map so we don't lose it because that would suck. Ooh, there's some ants. Oh, I guess the ant who was uh, over in the... the Rainforest just moved since they're kind of moving into the rainforest. Man, look at them go. It totally makes me feel like all of our big builds are tiny builds, Sunflower, but that's okay. We do things our own way. Did we do indeed? Did we do indeed? All right, now where is the academy? It should be coming up right here. There we go. Oh, it's looking good. It looks so much better. Still some bits and pieces to fix, but it's looking good. There we go. All right, stay right here, Sunflower. I'll be right back. Close the doors and let us take our new researchers down to the main floor where they can begin their research on their village history and hopefully get Kath, Lubot, and I some answers on what the heck is going on with these stones. All right, guys, welcome to your new home. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope that you find uh, all the facilities to your liking and that it can assist you in coming up with some amazing new, new theories on what's going on with the volcanic rock, what's going on with the history of your people, because you are descendants, ancient descendants of the people who used to run the dinosaur research laboratory. And I would love to know more about it. Um, there's no need to be so shell-shocked. Like, it'll be, it'll be all right. Oh, I thought I had a bunch of emeralds for him. Nope, nope. It will be all right, everyone. I hope that your research is fruitful and provides many answers. So thank you very much. We have begun. Oh my goodness, they really are kind of shell-shocked. All right, Pandy, you've got, you've got to help them lighten up. Oh, there they go, they're beginning their conversations. Very serious villagers are already diving into their, their research. Yep, yep, look at that. Yeah, this will be fine. This will be fine, they'll get it. All right, so that's exciting. Look at them go. Look at them go. Okay, I'm sure that all can come back and translate their notes from villages into English, and we will understand a little bit more, hopefully, of what went on in the mystery of this place. But until then, Sunflower Darling, it is time to pop back home, and we will have to leave the villagers to it and come back and collect the results of their research in a little while. Woo! So thank you so much, everybody. It has, as always, been so fascinating watching as the adventures unfold here in Zudesia. If you could, help us feed our animals by leaving a like, but also suggestions and ideas for how we can deck out and decorate the Dinosaur Academy. This is Dino Academy 101, and we will have a good time trying to figure out what the heck has happened in our world and what ancient mysteries we might be about to unlock. So I will see you then, guys. Bye-bye.